Thanks so much for staying with us. Taking a live look outside on the Corwinauto.com Valley Sky Cam. Part of the Storm Team Sky Cam Network. Some quiet and cold conditions out there this morning as we head through the day today. We'll see a chance for a few flakes of snow and that risk will continue as we head through tonight and even on into Christmas Day. See a little bit of snow falling from time to time. Not going to amount to a whole lot, but it is cold, cloudy, 10 degrees out there. Feels more like zero. Those winds out of the east around a six miles per hour, also 10 over into the Moorhead area. Temperatures elsewhere across the region. There's a little pocket of clear air off towards the east, and that's where you've got the colder temperatures. Zero in Wadena, zero in Thief River Falls, three in Detroit Lakes, one in the Crookston area. The winds generally light. In fact, they're calm in many locations across portions of Minnesota. Elsewhere, out of the east and southeast, generally around five to 10 miles per hour. That is enough to create some Cold wind chills down to nine below your wind chill right now up in the Hallock area. Three in Detroit Lakes, zero up in Devil's Lake. Cloud cover, we've got some out there and we're going to see that uh, cloudy sky as we head through not only today and tomorrow, but right on through the rest of the week. And right now we do have a little bit of light snow flurry, snow shower activity out there. And we're going to see this off and on as we head through the day today through tonight and again and about at least the first half of your Christmas day. We'll see that risk for a few flakes of snow falling out there. Not going to amount to a whole lot in any one given area, but if you do manage to get some persistent areas of some snow showers, you could see maybe upwards of a half an inch to an inch of a snow. Off towards the west, some snow falling in portions of the Rockies, western Colorado, northern Utah, up into Idaho, and off towards the western coast. Some rain falling in the Pacific Northwest and off toward the east through the Great Lakes, seeing some snow that changes to rain across portions of the coast along the northeastern U.S. For us today, again, cloudy skies, light winds out there and that occasional flurry and snow shower not out of the question as we head through the day and into tonight and at least through the early morning hours of your Christmas day. The other story is going to be the cold temperatures today. Single digits and teens for highs tomorrow. More single digits, teens, and maybe some 20s across the south as we head through the afternoon evening hours. A lot of cloud cover as we head through the day. And then late in the day, we'll start to see some snow encroaching from the southwest. That makes its way on into the area Wednesday. And it may stick around through Friday. Right now, the chance of heavy snow. Highest where you see the pink Decent chances into the yellow. And if you've been watching over the last few days, this has shifted just a little bit to the north from where we've had it over the past several days. So if you have travel plans into these areas, and that includes much of our area, could see some locally heavy snow. How much are we talking about? Well, we could see quite a few areas in the southern half, southern two-thirds of the valley, see a half a foot or more of snow. Keep it tuned to the latest forecast. In addition to that, we're going to see some breezy to windy conditions. Picture of the day, an evergreen sunburst in Fisher. Thanks so much to Sarah for setting this in. I'm going to use that as the backdrop to our seven-day forecast. And again, a chance for some snow showers as we head through the day and into tomorrow. And then after Christmas, we're going to see some big-time snows. And again, could see some locally heavy snows over parts of the area to the tune of half a foot or more. And again, Keep it tuned to the latest forecast, and we will continue to update you. I think we're getting to that point, though. Christmas is over. We don't really want any more snow now. Exactly. <laughs> now we want it to slowly warm on up as we head through the rest of the year. All right. Thank you very much, yeah. Robert. Still coming up here on the Valley today, we'll have games that you and your family can play for Christmas.